this is a framing store in Libertyville, and uh, we use this as the backdrop for the site. Uh, picture. It's got just a few frames. <laughs> just a few. Just a few. And um, let's see here. goes through these different offerings. Um, what we want to do, what he, he actually uses this as he calls it a virtual tour of his store. He has his own website which is a textual thing and describes his business, but he uses this site to, if you want to know about ceramics that he sells, you can go here and see his ceramics. Uh, so it's, it's, it's more of a, of a micro kind of a exploration of, of what his product is. Um, he made a video, uh, which I'd like to show. A, a lot of people are sort of scared of video. <laughs> they love Tony, but they're scared of video, okay? So um, what, what we want you to know about video in, in the digital world, um, I've, I've interviewed people and we haven't had one complete sentence in 15 minutes. You know, we've, uh, let's see, what did I want, where did I want to go with that? And digitally, we can take sound bites and just paste them together and we come up with a video. So you don't have to worry, you don't have to say things properly, you can stop and say, ah, that's not really what I meant. Okay, say it again. And then you say it again. And then we just edit it, script it, and put it together. Uh, here's a, uh, a video. At the point, John was very shy. Yeah. Just, okay, what am I going to talk about? This is weird talking about my own store. So it was very choppy. He's a very well put together man he was nervous, but this is how he made it look. The, the, the sound, I'm sorry, is going to come from over here. It's not loud. But. Hi, I'm John Tony. Uh, I'd like to look at uh, Curtis Frame Back Alley Gallery. Uh, it's, it's both a gallery and a frame store. Uh, we are different. We offer a distinct selection of frames. Considering a frame, you go to a store and simply look for a frame. That's all you're going to find. If you were to bring in to us perhaps a photo that you intend to have something hung to really make the room coordinated to finish the room, to finish the design, that's where we can make a difference. We take into account uh, their home in, in the setting that it hang on the wall or be a collection of settings, so that gets factored in. And we have also designed in home as well as here. Um, two, two points on the video, and, I, and I'm sorry you can't hear, hear it real well. Um, one point is we have uh, really television studio quality equipment. Uh, I, I shudder when I think what we've spent over the years on, on our equipment and our, our production stuff, but it's important because if you want to have something that looks high quality, you gotta, you got to go you got to play the game. So we have um, uh, very high quality uh, equipment to be able to do that for you. Um, and the second thing is um, those videos are also optimized for size. Again, normally a video like that right out of the can is going to be 50 megabytes. And we got to get those things down to really a couple megabytes. So they're you notice you didn't see the white dot scrolling donut that you sometimes see on YouTube. It doesn't happen because we know how to get all that content down the bandwidth, you know, 5,000 gallons of water through a cocktail straw. We know how to, we know how to do that. That uh, the video you just looked at loaded just from scratch from the, from the satellite and over a phone card, which is even In slower. In a basement. In a basement. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, <laughs> That's what we're trying to do for you to keep the technology and the quality at, at top levels. So could we switch back? You can keep talking. I want to switch back and talk about the business model. Unless you guys wanted to see some more, is there are there questions? Because I was going to go into our some of our other details. Please. Um, it, this just flips through stores, and like I said, you can click on the, the button here and uh, it. Uh, uh, it just loads up the next thing and it shows pictures of the business and who they are, what they do. A story about Body Works, little health and fitness studio, personal training center, batting cages, yada, yada, yada. Oh, we got to get our fall schedule out. We got to call the webmaster. It's going to be ridiculous. We have to get our entire fall schedule out. What do we do? 
Oh, we'll come over and we'll get it out for you. Oh, really? When? Oh, how's that half an hour? Okay. So we went and uploaded their entire fall schedule through the back end of, in the program manager. We were there for about 15 minutes. And they were like, that, that's it? That's it. That's how easy it is to update content. So you don't have to have those stress points of, I have to update all of that so all my information is current. It doesn't take you that long to do. It's not as scary. We make it less scary to manage all the content. Okay, that's a microsite. Yes, so now you can go tell everybody. What did you guys learn today? <laughs> we learned where the microsite is. Um, the, one other point I would make um, is that, and this is just the nature of our own business model, once we photograph your business, uh, we can show your business in the various realms that, by the ver various memberships that you have in the local area here. And I, I'm thinking of, uh, Elise and, uh, is talking with us, we're trying to figure out how we can, if your business is a member of the Chamber of Commerce, we could show your business on the Chamber site as well as on the MMC site, uh, MCC site. So. Um, if you uh, join this program, there'll be opportunities for you to show yourself in different places wherever you have memberships who are uh, working with us to get those things up. And when you're talking about, you've heard the term search engine optimization, social media optimization, return on investment, all that kind of stuff. I'm sure you know what exactly what I'm talking about. Google loves stuff like that. The more places you can be found, when those little web spiders and web crawlers and all those digital genius pieces that Google puts together that go out and search the internet. When you're searching from underline, when you're searching for a business, you can come up on the Chamber site, the Community Connection site, your site, maybe the library site, LinkedIn, any organizations that you support, the more links you can be found under, Google's going to say that's terrific. And when you go for page rank over time, organically, as, you, as you're associated with more things, your Google page rank grows. So when you go in and just do a raw search for where to go and what to do in underline, the ideal position on our platform would be on those first three pages of that Google search engine results page category, that page listing. So if you're on the first three pages, statistically, 90% of people are going to click through to your site. That's enough information. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be integrated with OneLine.org? Okay. Yes. How's that integration? Well, we, Scott, you want to? Uh, how does it work? Um, Again, we, we take the pictures, we get the business set up. You can be seen on these other sites either via a link. In other words, we're on the other site, it says, you know, Mundelein Alive, and, and you click there and it opens up and it shows your business. So it's like a button like Facebook. We can also, we're also on Facebook, we're also on Mundelein Alive, we're also on Mundelein Community Connection. However you want to populate that with a button or with a link. It's all it already Work out with the village that'll be on their business page. We've worked it out with Main Street, Libertyville, and then we're working with. Mm -hmm. are you talking? Are you talking about? Line, on the line, yeah. That's where we're going with it. We want to get as many of those businesses on board, and then go to the village and say, "Hey, you know, this is what we have built. This is your platform through the Mundelein Community Connection. This is what we developed. Would you like this to be part of your offering as a village?" So we usually like to get some robustness behind it first. We're in that kind of the hard way in Libertyville. We did go and approach the mayor, but with 10 businesses on the site, after two months, he's kind of like, okay, that's very pretty, but it's only 10 businesses. Now we're going to go with nearly 100 businesses home. All right, that's, that's not too bad. Because you know when you go to a usually when you go to a village website, Scott talked about the small print. There's a lot of small print, which is great because there's a lot of good information and pertinent stuff. But wouldn't it be cool just to have, boom, instead of searching around for those businesses and going through all those tabs, Oh, a little link. Here's one to like. So for you as a business owner, you're we're trying to give you leverage where we just we film it once, put it up once, and you can be shown in eight different places. And uh, that's the that's the goal. So again, brand awareness, you know, marketing surveys out there with digital marketing online services. Eight out of the ten businesses they indicate that as a goal. I want my brand to be out there. I want my juice to be out there. I want the village to be out there. The village is a brand. MCC is a brand. You guys are a community organization. There's a lot of passion here. You want that 